What's my take on daily sunscreen? Man, this is tough. Do you want to live a long time or do you want to look pretty? Okay, so I will take this video as a way to learn more about ways to deal with the UV damage from the sun. The main points are preventing the damage from happening in the first place. And the second point is mitigating the damage after the damage happened to your skin. The first point is by applying your sunscreen, reapplying during the day, seeking shade, avoiding the sun during the peak hours, etc. And this is the most efficacious way of preventing the damage because we are blocking the UV from uh, affecting your skin cells uh, in the first place and preventing the damage from happening. The second point is mitigating the damage after the damage occurred and this way is less efficacious and it can be by applying antioxidant anti-inflammatory calming ingredient uh, during the exposure and after the exposure but this way is less efficacious because when the damage happened to your cells those ingredients can help a little bit they cannot erase the damage from happening at all okay so the video contained three main advices i tried to classify them into colors uh, representing the risk level of each advice the red one is avoid the yellow one you can follow it but you will not see any type of actual benefit the green one you might see some benefit and the risk is low first let's talk about injecting yourself with melanocyte stimulating hormone like melanotan 2 which is a synthetic version of the alpha mhs a natural hormone that circulate our blood help the melanocyte produce more pigment and because it's a synthetic version and the dose can be much higher than what exists in our body, it can push the melanocyte to an uh, unbalanced situation where they are activated more, proliferating more, uh, dividing more, and this increases the risk of the uh, uh, melanoma, which is one of the deadliest uh, form of skin cancer, because we are pushing the cell into out of balance increasing the risk of errors that happen during uh, proliferation and even the TGA in, in Australia advised not to use this because of an increased risk of melanoma. The second one there is no scientific basis be between seed oils consumption and, oil, uh, and uh, animal based fat. You can try it if you want but trust me you won't, you won't see any uh, benefit to it. The third one is taking oral antioxidants like the polypodium and the astaxanthin. Those uh, supplements were be, have been used for a while. The risk is limited. Always discuss with your uh, medical provider if you want to take any type of uh, supplement because the interaction with your chronic drugs, for example, if you are a chronic drug user like uh, diabetes medication, hypertension medication, you have to seek advice from a pharmacist or a medical care provider. The risk with this is low. You so you can use it as a second layer of protection after trying your best to prevent the uh, UV damage through sunscreen and sun avoidance and seeking shades.